Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week we had over 100 salvations. Um, I don't have all the reports yet of all of our totals, but uh, we got over 100 salvations again. And uh, included in that result was a soul winning marathon in Beekle on uh, midweek, I think it was on Thursday. They had uh, 31 salvations, so uh, praise the Lord for that. And uh, things are going really well there with our new Bible study fellowship that's down there. And uh, things are going well at our churches. And so the sermons I preached um, this past week, on Sunday I preached a response to John MacArthur. He made a video, uh, obviously he's a famous uh, false prophet. He made a video um, about, you know, how do you know for sure you're saved? How do you know for sure you're going to heaven? And he said we have four proofs of whether or not we're saved. Do you love God? Are you humble? Are you obedient? And what can your faith survive? And he said these are the proofs of whether or not you're saved because according to the theology of Calvinists, before you're saved, you hate God, and then you love God. And before you're saved, you're arrogant, but then you become humble. Before you're saved, you're not obedient, then, then you become obedient. And if you're really saved, your faith's gonna endure unto the end, meaning not just that you believe the same thing, but that you're gonna walk the walk and live a good life and everything like that. And so I preached against that idea. It's very, very foolish, all those points, because you can't self-assess yourself. People oftentimes think they're very good at something when they're actually really bad at something. And so if we knock doors and ask people, do you love God? Everybody's gonna say, I love God. That doesn't mean that they do love God. I mean, do they go to church? Do they read the Bible? But they feel like they love God. And so whether or not you're saved, how can you tell whether or not you're saved? Well, it comes down to what do you believe? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Whether or not you feel like you love God or not, that does not tell you whether or not you're saved or not. So I preached against that idea that John MacArthur had. You can uh, check that sermon out. It's on our uh, YouTube and Facebook. Then I preached, uh, Who is this King of Glory? Just verse by verse through Psalm 24. And I preached against Christian uh, rock music at the end because there was this famous third day song uh, from a while back now called King of Glory that I remember when I first got saved was very popular. And you know, when the Bible talks about who is this King of Glory in Psalm 24, it talks about the judgment of God. It talks about his holiness and how He's a God that will judge the heathen, how he's strong and mighty in battle, and yet the song is all about the love and forgiveness and mercy of God. There's nothing wrong with the mercy and love of God. I mean, praise the Lord for that. But the problem with modern day Christianity is not what they're saying, it's what they're not saying. And what they're not saying is the fact that God will judge his people, God is holy, God is righteous. And so I talked about that. Midweek, uh, Brother Mateus preached for us in Manila, and he did a great job And um, in Pampanga. We preached through uh, Genesis 3, Genesis 3a, the origin of sin. So that's what the sermons are about. And so, anyways, this is just a really quick update. Let me just say one thing, though, that, um, you know, we do have a lot of ministries now that we're involved in. And so I just wanted to let people know if you are an online uh, donator, if you send us money, um, you know, praise the Lord for that. We're, we're excited for that. Um, we'll use that to win souls to the Lord and for the work of the ministry here. But if you wanted your donation to specifically go to um, one of our ministries or one of our church plants, then you know, let me know about that. For example, you know, maybe you're an OFW and maybe you're from the area of Beekle, so maybe you're excited about the new ministry in Beekle. So if you do send us a donation, you know, just let me know and we'll, we'll make sure that uh, you know, that money goes toward the work that's going on there. And likewise, if you're you know, from Metro Manila or you're from Pampanga or whatever, most people when they donate, they just kind of you know, trust that we'll uh, put it to the right things, the right resources uh, that we'll spend it on. But uh, if you do have a specific uh, thing that you would like us to use it on, we will try our best to use it for that specific thing. And so our new ministry in Biko, it's going great. They had a record attendance this past Sunday. They did a soul winning marathon and things are going great. Whenever we start something new, we try to keep things uh, very simple and just kind of see how things go. But if you would like to donate to that ministry specifically, then let me know, and uh, or any of our, our ministries, just let me know about that. So anyways, we appreciate all the prayers, and uh, thank you, and God bless.